everyone. My name is Miss Samya. I'm with the Lexington Public Library, and I'm so excited to be bringing you another Facebook story time. So today I have a very fun and exciting theme for you. I'm really excited about it. We're going to talk about cars and buses. So I know that's something a lot of you guys ride in cars and have probably been in buses, the school bus or the city bus, and they're so much fun. So we're going to have a really fun time talking about them today. I have a lot of really good songs and rhymes and a story all about it. But first, before we get into any of those, we have to sing our hello song because we can't have story time without saying hello, right? And before we sing our hello song, I want to remind everybody watching that all of the lyrics for today's songs and rhymes, as well as information about our story we're going to read and information about our suggested activity that I'm going to talk about, have all been posted on the Facebook page with this video. So if you want to pull those up and refer to those or have them ready after story time to go back to look at them again, make sure to utilize that resource. Alrighty, my friends, let's stretch and wake up our arm. Give it a big stretch. Doesn't that feel good? And we're going to wave and say, hello, my friends. Hello. Hello, my friends. Hello. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Hello. Hello, hello everybody. Very good. So now that we have stretched one arm, we have to stretch and wake up the other arm. We can't just have one arm be awake and one arm not. So we're gonna stretch and wake up the next arm and say, hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello, my friends, hello, my friends, hello. Hello, everybody. Alrighty, so now our arms are nice and awake, so we can use them to sing our first song. So we're going to sing a song called Drive, Drive, Drive Your Car. So we're going to be pretending we're driving our car, isn't that fun? And it's to the same tune as Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So if you've ever heard Row, Row, Row Your Boat, you already know how to sing this song too. So we're going to start, we're going to hold on to our steering wheel, and we're going to pretend we're driving. Ready? Drive, drive, drive your car all around the town. Merrily, 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 merrily up the hills and down. Good job. Uh-oh, though. I noticed a problem with our car. It wasn't going very far because guess what? We forgot to turn on the engine. You have to use the key to turn on the engine. Otherwise, your car won't start. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put our key in the engine and we're going to turn it just like this. So we're going to say, turn the key. Are you ready? Turn, turn, turn the key. Make the engine roar. Merrily, 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 merrily. Let's go to the store. Good job. So now our engine is all revved up and ready to go. So now we're ready to take the wheel and we're going to steer the car with our, using our wheel. Ready? Turn, turn, turn the wheel. That is how we steer. Merrily, 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 merrily make a turn right here. So let's turn our car. Good job. So now we've driven our car, we've turned it where we need to go. Now we need to stop, we need to push on the brake. So in a car, you push on the brake with your foot, but you guys can't really see my foot very well right now. So I'm gonna do it with my hand, but you can do it with your hand or your foot at home, either way. Are you ready? Push, push, push the brake, make the car slow down. Merrily, 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 now we are in town. Good job! That was awesome! You guys did such a good job driving our car. And you know what? I think you did such a good job with that first driving that we can now drive even faster. So you know what we're going to do? We are going to do a song called Zoom Down the Highway. So we're going to see how fast we can go. Ready? So you're going to get your zooming arms ready. Show me how you can zoom your arms. And we're going to say zoom down the highway. Zoom down the highway, zoom down the highway, zoom down the highway fast. 
Good job. So we're zooming down the highway, but uh-oh. I just noticed there's a ship coming by. So we've got to wait because the drawbridge has got to come up to let the ship pass. So let's lift up our drawbridge. Ready? Up goes the drawbridge. Up goes the drawbridge. Up goes the drawbridge. The ship is going past. So we're going to let the ship pass. And as we watch the ship go, let's all wave to the ship. Goodbye, ship. Goodbye. We're going to watch it go by. So the ship has passed now, and the drawbridge is still up, but now we have to bring it down so we can drive again. Ready? Down goes the drawbridge, down goes the drawbridge, down goes the drawbridge. The ship has passed at last. So now we can wave again to the ship. Bye, ship! It's off to do very important ship things. And now the drawbridge is back down. And we are ready again to zoom down the highway. You ready? Zoom down the highway. Zoom down the highway. Zoom down the highway fast. Good job. Give yourselves a hand. You Alrighty, my friends. I would love to do another really fun rhyme about a bus. This one is about a city bus. And it's called a hippopotamus got on a city bus. Isn't that crazy? Do you think a hippopotamus could fit on a bus? We're gonna find out. So what we can do for this song, if you wanna make it a little more fun, is you can use your legs or a table in front of you, I'm gonna use my table, to kind of tap out a rhythm while we do our rhyme. And grown-ups, if you have a child who's sitting on your lap or a baby in your arms, this is also a good bouncing song. So if you wanna to bounce too, that would be really fun. But we're gonna go a hip, a hip, a hip, Hippopotamus got on, got on, got on a city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. Oh no, so give yourself a big squish. A hippopotamus would squish you if it got on a bus. It would not be fun to sit next to. But now that the hippopotamus is on the bus, we have another animal that's getting on the bus now. And it's a sheep. At least that's smaller than a hippopotamus, right? So let's think about our sheep. Ready? A sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, back up. <laughs> so everybody back up from the sheep. <laughs> Good job. So now we've got one more animal that's going to get on the bus. Oh gosh, I don't know if any more can fit. But this time it's a cow, a great big cow. So let's sing about the cow, ready? A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, move over. <laughs> so we've got to move over so the cow can fit. And I don't think any more animals are gonna fit on our silly city bus. <laughs> so that is the end of our rhyme. So let's talk about an activity now that you can do at home that has to do with cars or buses or trucks or trains or any type of transportation really. So this is a really fun activity to do, especially for the summer because it's a water activity. And what you can do is you can give your toy cars or trains or trucks or buses or whatever you have a bath, a car wash. So you can do this either indoors um, with a storage bin full of water. You can lay it on a tarp or a towel. You could also do this indoors um, with a half full sink or a half full bathtub. Um, it's also great outdoors if you want to just put a tub out in your um, your backyard or your deck or if you've got a baby pool or a water table you can obviously use that too. Um, and all you need to do is whisk up a little soapy water in your vessel of choice and let your children give the toys a bath. Um, and you can make this even more fun if you want by kind of dirtying up your toys even more using shaving cream, uh, flour. If you're outside, you can use real dirt and mud <laughs> and then you can make them really dirty first and then give them a nice bath and a wash down and dry them off when they're done. And this is a really fun sensory activity. You can add in anything you want to. You can use old toothbrushes, old sponges, washcloths, uh, dish brushes, really anything you want to let your child practice their fine motor skills and get a nice sensory experience. It's really great for younger kids, but even older kids would enjoy it too. It's just a fun, nice water activity to do in the summer. So I hope you try that out. It's so much fun.
Alrighty, my friends. So we're almost at the end of our story time, which means we need to warm up our hands and get them ready to clap for our story time is over song. And while we're warming up our hands, I want to remind my grown-ups to please keep following the library's Facebook page for more story times, more sing-along videos, and uh, more programs through July that we're going to be posting. And please keep visiting letspublib.org for more information on digital resources and other general library information. Alrighty, my friends. We've got our hands ready to clap and sing our song. Are you ready? Story time is over. Clap your hands. Story time is over, clap your hands. Story time is done, I hope that you had fun. Story time is over, clap your hands. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have a good rest of your day. Bye! Hi friends, I'm Miss Christy with the Lexington Public Library and welcome to story time. I'm very happy that you have chosen to uh, join me today. I hope your day's off to a great start. And our story time today is going to make me really hungry for lunch. Uh, maybe you too. I hope that's okay. <laughs> our story time today is all about pizza. Mmm, 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 pizza. So we're going to uh, sing about some pizza. We're going to read about pizza. I'm going to share this book with you. Hi, Pizza Man by Virginia Walter uh, with illustrations by Ponder Agomble. It's a fun little pizza delivery story. Um, so even though I can't see you again today, um, let's just do what we always do in story time. Move together, sing together. Uh, if I ask you the name of a color or the name of a vegetable and you know the answer, just shout it out, just like you would if we were together for story time. Do not be shy. Um, I want to enjoy it just the way we, we would if we were all together. So, that being said, the first thing that we'll do is sing a welcome song. Are you ready? Here we go. Come along and wave with me, wave with me wave with me come along and wave with me it's time for story time clap them come along and clap with me clap with me clap with me come along and clap with me it's time for story time you roll along like this come along and roll with me roll with me roll with me Come along and roll with me. It's time for story time. I've got wiggles today. How about you? Yeah? Let's wiggle from the top of your head down to your tiptoes. Come along and wiggle with me. Wiggle with me. Wiggle with me. Come along and wiggle with me. It's time for story time. And last but not least, Let's read together. Come along and read with me. Read with me. Read with me. Come along and read with me. It's time for story time. Nice job, everybody. Very nice job. So, as I said, story time today is about pizza, which is already making me hungry, hungry. Um, I, you know, I like lots of different things on my pizza. Um, I don't know, I guess some people usually like a particular thing, but I like to get different things on pizza. Um, sometimes I like just cheese. How about you? Sometimes just cheese, or is that your favorite? Um, sometimes I like cheese and pepperoni. Sometimes I like cheese and sausage and green pepper and black olives. Some people don't like black olives. I like black olives. Um, and last night, last night, I had pizza for dinner and I had chicken and spinach on my pizza. And it was delicious. It was delicious. 
Do you have a particular thing that you like on your pizza? Or do you like lots of things on your pizza? Oh, that sounds like yummy, yummy pizza. I think that sounds great. Oh, all this pizza talk, it makes me want to sing a song about how much I like pizza. You want to sing a song with me about eating and loving pizza? Okay, and I know you're going to know the tune. This is to if you're happy and you know it. Okay? Because pizza makes you happy. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> so here we go. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say, pizza, please. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. Stomp your feet. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say, pizza, please. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. See, let's nod our head like this. If you want to eat some pizza, nod your head. If you want to eat some pizza, nod your head. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say pizza, please. If you want to eat some pizza, nod your head. And oh, what I say when I love good pizza, let's say yum, yum. If you want to eat some pizza, say yum, 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 yum. If you want to eat some pizza, say yum, 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 yum. If you want, oh, if you like bubbly cheese, then just say pizza, please. If you want to eat some pizza, say yum, 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 yum. <laughs> nice job. Nice job, everybody. A little excited about pizza with all my yum yums. I'm definitely getting hungry for lunch. So, you know, um, pizza, not everybody though likes pizza. People have different foods that they enjoy. Not everybody likes burgers. Not everybody likes watermelon. Not everybody likes cheese. So there are certain things that you like and certain things that you don't. But you don't know if you don't like something unless you try it. And I have a story I'm going to tell you about a little boy who was reluctant to try new food. But it's a good story. But it does involve making food. So before we make food together, what do we need to do? Oh, yes, we need to wash our hands. Let's wash our hands. What do we need to wash our hands? Yes. Water? Yes! So, let's turn on the water. Let's turn on, or I'm sorry, let's get some soap. Oh, get our hands wet with the soap, rub them around, and let's sing our hand washing song. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between, rub them both together, rub them both together, now they're clean, now they're clean. Great job, great job. Makes washing your hands just a little more fun if you get to sing along. So as I was telling you, um, I'm going to tell you a story about a little boy your age, whose name was Picky Paul. And this story is about the time that Picky Paul's papa prepared a pizza. So Picky Paul was very reluctant to try new food. Um, if it looked different or it smelled different, um, he really just didn't want to have anything to do with food that he thought was different, weird. Um, but his papa always tried to get him to try new things. He would always say, Paul, won't you have just one bite? And Picky Paul would always say, no, I won't. Always. 
So one day his papa said, Paul, I'm gonna make something for you, very special, that I really think you're going to like. So won't you try just one bite? And again, as always, Picky Paul says, no, I won't. So Papa says, okay, well come to the kitchen with me anyway and keep me company while I cook. And Paul did. So Papa gets out a vegetable. What is that? Ah, that's right, that's right, that's a red juicy tomato. Papa says, Paul, won't you take just one bite, just one? Picky Paul says, no, I won't. Papa says, okay. So Papa gets out some other vegetables. Do you know what these are? These are mushrooms. What color are these mushrooms? Yes, they are, they are brown. So Papa says, won't you take just one bite of these mushrooms? Picky Paul says, no, I won't. Pop says, okay. Papa continues, takes out a new ingredient for this special dish. What is this? What color is it? It is white and it is an onion. And Papa says, Paul, won't you take one bite of this onion? And Picky Paul says, no, I won't. Papa says, okay. And he continues, he gets out another vegetable. What is that? Oh, it is green. It is green. What vegetable might that be? Yes, a green pepper. And Papa says, Paul, won't you take just one, just one bite of the green pepper? And Picky Paul says, <laughs> that's right, no, I won't. <sighs> Papa sighs. He goes to the refrigerator and he gets out the next ingredient for his special dish. What's this? It is yellow, that's right. And he guesses what this is. Goes on top of some, oh yes, cheese. Mmm, the cheese smells so good, said Papa. Paul, won't you take just one bite? And Paul, picky Paul, he says, what does he say? <laughs> no, I won't. So Papa, he gets out, uh, he gets out a big a bowl and he puts the, oh, I'm sorry, no, First, he stirs and he stirs, and then he gets out a big round pan, and he rolls and he rolls, and he put the tomato, and he put the mushrooms, and he put the onion, and the cream pepper, and the cheese in the pan and then he put it all in the oven and papa and picky paul waited and while they waited the smell of something delicious came from the oven and when it was all cooked papa pulled the pizza nice warm pizza out of the oven and Papa says, Paul, won't you have just one bite? And Picky Paul looks at that pizza and inhales the smell of that pizza. And Picky Paul said, yes, I will. Picky Paul had one bite. And then he had three more pieces. And nobody ever called him Picky Paul again. <laughs> good job naming all those vegetables, you guys. Very good. 
maybe some of those are vegetables that you've never had before that you might be inspired to try next time you have pizza. Maybe. Oh, I tell you what, guys. When I order my pizza, if it's delivered by a pizza dinosaur, that's going to make a really, really good story, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, thanks for sharing that book with me. I think that book is a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Uh, to extend the pizza fun of today's story time, I have a couple of um, activity suggestions for you to do at home. Probably my favorite one uh, would be, if there's any way you can, to um, shop for pizza ingredients that you choose together and make a pizza at home. Um, you can get one of those pre-prepared crusts even that makes it so much easier rather than having to roll out your own dough. But if you're talented at that, that's a terrific thing to do together. Um, you could also uh, shop together for a particular kind of frozen pizza, read the instructions on the box together about how to cook it and get it in the oven together and then sit together while it cooks and, and talk about the ingredients that are on it um, and, and how you might add to it or, or, you know, cut it up when it's done, how many pieces you want to cut it into. Um, but if you want some non-kitchen options, <laughs> I do have some of those too. Um, a shape pizza, I think is a really great one. Um, and of course you can come up with any number of recipes for this. Here's my recipe. The recipe for this one was uh, two green rectangles, three yellow squares, four pink triangles, and five blue circles. Um, I cut all of these out of uh, post-it notes and envelopes that I colored because I didn't have any construction paper. And you may not either. So there are definitely other, other things that you can use to get that done. Um, another thing that you might do um, is use a grocery ad from a newspaper, if you happen to still get the newspaper, um, and cut out um, things in the grocery ad that might be good for pizza. For instance, I found uh, red peppers in the grocery ad that I had. I put those on there. Um, as one of my pizza toppings and I would add some more and um, then of course here is the I'm going to design my own pizza with uh, markers and crayons I chose uh, pepperoni uh, mushrooms and broccoli <laughs> which is actually pretty good on pizza if you're gonna eat broccoli it's a good way to do it um, and then afterwards I just wrote down my little pizza recipe there uh, for what I put on my pizza. So those are fun ways to uh, make a pizza that don't involve um, kitchen messes, um, if that's not what your big talent is or, or something that you have as much time for. You can make that kind of pizza together too. Whatever kind of pizza you make, if you make one, you can share it with us on social media using the hashtag LPL at home, and that's L-P-L-A-T-H-O-M-E. And I want to remind you that uh, summer reading is underway virtually on, on our uh, social media sites. Um, definitely check Facebook on Mondays for a new post um, for that week's Summer Reading 2020 Challenge, whatever that might be uh, that you would want to participate in. I did several things throughout the week with programming virtually that um, apply to that particular challenge for the week. And as usual, um, you can join us here on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 11 a.m. for story time. And I want to thank you again for joining me today. Uh, but before we go, I want to wrap up with that goodbye song uh, to say goodbye to you. So if you're ready, here we go. Wave high, wave low. I think that it's time We've got to go. Wave your elbows. Wave your toes. Wave your tongue. <laughs> Wave your nose. Wave your knees. Shake those knees. Wave your lips. Blow a kiss with your fingertips. Wave your ears. Wave your hair. Woo! Woo! Wave your belly. Wave your dairy air. <laughs> Wave your hand. Wave your. Oh, sorry. Wait, I missed it. 
wave your chin, <laughs> wave your eye, wave your hand, and say goodbye. Thanks for story time today, guys. Bye-bye. Hi friends, this is Blaine from the Lexington Public Library with another story time for you. Today we're going to read a book and sing some songs all about buttons. So let's get going with our welcome song. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to wave our hands. Let's wake up our hands. Maybe do this with your fingers. You ready? It goes like this. Come along and wave with me. Wave with me, wave with me, come along and wave with me, it's time for story time. Very good. Okay, now we're going to put these hands together and we're going to clap. <clears throat> Ready? Come along and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me, come along and clap with me, it's time for story time. Very good. All right, we are going to roll our arms like this. Make up those shoulders. You ready? Come along and roll with me. Roll with me. Roll with me. Come along and roll with me. It's time for story time. Yeah, that feels good. Okay. Now this one, if you are at home or wherever you are watching this, stand up. And you're going to spin your whole body around for this next verse. I'm going to use my fingers as my body. So, it goes like this. Come along and spin with me. Spin with me. Spin with me. Come along and spin with me. It's time for story time. Woo! <laughs> That'll make you dizzy. <laughs> All right. One last time. I have some wiggles. I need to get them out. You ready? Come along and wiggle with me, wiggle with me, wiggle with me. Come along and wiggle with me. It's time for story time. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I have here my what's inside box, which is actually just a trash can box covered with duct tape. But we're going to work on some colors with a little rhyme that's called Higgity Piggity Bumblebee. It goes like this. Higgity piggity bumblebee. Who can say this color for me? Mm, it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to call it orange. Hopefully it looks like it's orange on your screen. Let's all say that together. Orange. Hmm. That's two beats. Let's all clap it. Orange. Let's all whisper. Click. Very good. Okay. Let's try it again. Show me your bumblebee fingers. Higgity piggity bumblebee. Who can say this color for me? Okay. This one we should have no argument about. Green. That's right. Let's all say it together. Green. Let's all clap that. Green. Let's all whisper. Green. Let's all click. Okay, you're getting the hang of it. Let's do it again. Higgity piggity bumblebee. Who can say this color for me? Red. That's right. This is a red button. Let's all say it together. Red. Okay, you can do that. Let's all clap. Red. Let's all whisper. Red. Let's all click. All right. We got at least one more button. Let's do it. Higgity piggity bumblebee. Who can say this color for me? All right. Oh, it's almost as big as my face. <laughs> That's right. It's yellow. Let's all say it together. Yellow. Let's all clap it. Yellow. Let's all whisper. Yellow. Let's all click. Yay. <laughs> Very good. It's by breaking down words into their individual sounds. That'll make you a stronger reader in the future. So, good work, everybody. Good work. 
so the next thing that I would like to do, I think, is we're going to play with our buttons a little bit more. Um, this is to the tune of Where is Thumpkin? So I'm going to hide it behind my back. You can put your arms behind your back if you want to. Shoulders need a little bit more warming up. It goes like this. Where is button? Where is button? Here it is. Here it is. Put it on my belly. Put it on my belly. Belly button. Belly button. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> this can be a really fun bounce to do, particularly with babies or really any age. So, okay. You ready? Hide your button. Hide your button behind your back. Ready? Where is button? Where is button? Here it is. Here it is. Put it on my belly. Put it on my belly. Belly button. Belly button. <laughs> that kind of tickles. Should we do it one more time? Let's do it one more time. Okay. Hide your button behind your back. Ready? Where is button? Where is button? Here it is. Here it is. Put it on your belly. Put it on your belly. Belly button. <laughs> belly button. <laughs> Yay. Very good. That's super fun. Okay. Buttons, though. Um, so I thought this might be a fun activity. So what I have done, um, kind of hard to see. I'm going to hold it up like this. So I took, this is just a Cheerios box, and I cut out shapes that are sort of like the buttons in the book. I have a triangle, which was the clap, and the sing button, we have a beep button. You could do these in colors if you want. I don't have any colored markers here at home or crayons, so mine are just this. Um, but what I did is I glued it, I just folded the pieces of the cereal box in like an accordion, and then it makes a button you can see you can press it so you could put these on a piece of paper you could put them around your house you could tape them you could glue them and you could be like all right i don't want to hear that noise again <laughs> see lots of fun lots of fun parents here's a beeping one beep 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 anyway this might be a fun activity to try and see if you can test your memory to see about all the different actions and colors in the button you can make your own up. You could um, really expand the vocabulary and have a fun interactive game controlling each other with buttons. Uh, yeah, so I think since we've pressed all these buttons though, we maybe have a little bit of a dirty hand situation. So before we say goodbye, we're gonna sing our hand washing song. So we turn on our water, get some soap, lather it up. All right, you ready? Top and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between, all around your hands, all around your hands, now they're clean, now they're clean. <laughs> anyway, I hope that um, you've had fun in our story time. I've had fun. We just have a goodbye song to sing before I am done. So we're gonna wave with one hand, then the other, wave with one hand, then the other, wave with one hand, then the other. Story time is over. Goodbye, friends. I hope you had a great time in story time. It was so fun to hang out with you and share a fun story that I like. We have story times every Saturday at 11 and every Tuesday at 11. So please tune in on our Facebook for those and check on our website at um, www.lexpublib.org for more events and summer challenges and online books and other news about the library. Hello everyone. It's time for story time. My name is Miss Whitney and I work with the Lexington Public Library. And today um, I put on a little bit of a fancy thing on my head. What is this? It's a hat. That's right, you put hats on your head. I picked out a really fun festive hat because today our story time is all about hats. 
So I'm gonna give you just a second, ask your grown up if they have a hat you can borrow. Or maybe you have a hat at your own house that you can wear. Maybe you should go find it and join in with me and wear your hat, okay? All right, I'll give you guys a second. Go find a hat, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands warmed up and get ready to sing, okay? Are you looking for a hat? Keep looking, I'm gonna show you some of the other hats that I have, okay? I have my Mickey birthday hat. I wear this when it's my birthday in June. I have a plastic fireman hat. It says fire chief on it. I have this cool green hat with a pom-pom. It says Salem Wildcats. That's where I went to high school. Cool, huh? And then I have this hat here. It's tan and, and navy blue. It has a bow on the back. This is a nice hat to wear when it's sunny out. Okay, did you get your hat? You ready? All right, let's sing together. Put your hands together for sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Here we go. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Sticking my hands to my hat. Oh, my hands are stuck to my hat. Let's pull them off on the count of three. One, two, three, unstuck. Ooh, my hands are still sticky. Let's do it again. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking my hands to my shoulders. Can you stretch your arms and stick to your shoulders? Okay, let's pull them off on the count of three. One, two, three, unstuck. Ew, my hands are still a little bit sticky. Let's sing it again. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking my hands to my elbows. Are your hands stuck to your elbows? All right, let's see if we can pull them off on the count of three. One, two, three, unstuck. Very good, let's do it one last time. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking my hands to my hands. Can you stick your hands together? Make all your fingers touch and the palms of your hands stick together. Okay, we're gonna push them together. And then we're gonna try to pull them apart on the count of three. One, two, three, un. Very good, that was great. All right, let us wash our hands now. Put a little bit of soap on your hands. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Rub them together. Oh, I forgot to turn on the water. Turn it on. Let's sing tops and bottoms, ready? Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. All around your hands, all around your hands. Now they're clean, now they're clean. One more time. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. All around your hands, all around your hands. Now they're clean, now they're clean. That was, hey guys. Look, I changed hats. I'm wearing my Salem Wildcats hat right now with the pom-pom, okay? You'll need your hat for this next song, all right? We're gonna sing it together and it's called the Silly Hat Song, all right? But our hat's not gonna stay on our head. So listen, follow along with me. On my head, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my head wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Okay, let's take off our silly hat. And we're gonna use our silly hat to put it on our shoulder. Can you put your hat on your shoulder? That's, that is pretty silly. You don't usually wear a hat on your shoulder. We're gonna do it right now, ready? On my shoulder, I wear a hat. 
it is such a silly hat that my shoulder wiggle waggles uh oh to and fro where else can my silly hat go hmm where can we put our silly hat you might have a good idea hmm maybe we could put our silly hat on our knee I'll hold my knee up put my hat on my knee look at that on my knee i wear a hat it is such a silly hat that my knee wiggle waggle to and fro where else can my silly hat go okay where else can we put our silly hat let's see i'm gonna put my silly hat on my elbow this is kind of hard you gotta have to balance your elbow can you stretch out your elbow ready all right it's on there okay on my elbow i wear a hat it is such a silly hat that my elbow wiggle waggles to and fro where else can my silly hat go story time is all over now thank you for playing along with me and wearing your hat if you wore your hat during story time, would you take a picture and put it on our Facebook page so I can see your hat too? That would be great. You can have your grown up use the hashtag LPL at home so that lots of people can see your really cool hat. Don't forget, the library is always open on our website, lexpublib.org. I've really enjoyed having story time with you today, and I can't wait to see you guys next time for story time. See you later. Bye. Good morning. I'm so glad you could join me today for the Lexington Public Library's online story time. Today, I am counting on you to participate with me. All of the songs that I am doing are in a separate Facebook post, and you can find the activities I'll be sharing there as well. We will um, Today we'll be singing some songs, I'll read a story, and then I'll share some activities that you can do at your own home while we all stay safe and healthy. Uh, today, like I said, I'm counting on you because we will be counting things. Yeah, we're gonna make math fun because it is. That's the best way to be able to expose your kids to anything new that you want them to continue to do forever. Make it enjoyable. Plus, it is. This is going to be a fun day. So, I'm going to start the way I always do. I'm going to say hello. Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello, my friends, hello, my friends, hello, good morning. I am very, very glad that you could be here with me. And I'm wondering how many different things could we count? Can you count the number of fingers on your hand? Did you count the number of times that I waved? I didn't, I don't, I don't know. I could probably do it again and we would find out. I've got so many other things that we can continue to count today. We'll be counting up to 10 or up to five or even in reverse. You don't have to stop with just 10 or five. You can go up to 20 or 100 or 1000. How many things can you count? So we're gonna share with you a really great old nursery rhyme. I bet you know this one. It starts with the number one. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up sticks, seven, eight, Lay them straight, nine, ten, a big fat hen. Good job. That one's really silly, isn't it? It's a fun way to be able to get your counting on. You know, I have another fun way to get your counting on. When you take a bath, how many things are in the bathtub along with you? See my bathtub? It's a nice little bathtub. 
Do you ever have elephants in your bathtub? I know, it's a pretty silly thing to put in your bathtub. We're gonna add them to ours today. In fact, we're going to start with, how many elephants is that? One elephant, oh right. And it fits pretty well, doesn't it? This goes like this. One elephant in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Huh, scoot you over and we will add one more and then we will have one, two, two elephants. Two elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Is there room for another? Hmm, let's see. Scoot you guys over. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. Three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Ooh, there might be room for one, two, three, four. Four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Uh oh, scoot you guys over. Otherwise you can't invite anybody else in. Come on in. One, two, three, four, five. Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. They all fell in. That's too many elephants in the bathtub, don't you think? I think so. But that one was a fun thing to count. You know what else I really like to count? Bubbles. I really like to count bubbles. I have a bubble song and it's very, very fun. And it goes like this. One little, two little, three little bubbles. Four little, five little, six little bubbles. Seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles. Ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Well, pop, pop, pop. Go those bubbles. Pop, pop, pop. Go those bubbles. Pop, 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 go those bubbles. Ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Woo! How many, ooh, how many bubbles? Oh, I caught one, two, oh, I missed that one. Three, I caught three bubbles and then they popped on my fingers. Oh, but that's really fun. What else can you count? Do you think you, do you see anything in my room that you could count? Do you see, hmm, this is a great way to do a, a counting scavenger hunt. You could say you would start with one thing. I think I'm going to count one tree. Do you see one tree? Right behind me? Yeah, that's one tree. How about two boats? Do you see two boats? Let's count them. One, two. That's two boats. Good job. Well, now we're going to count backwards because we're almost ready for our story. And we're going to start with five and end with one. And this one gets us to go to the moon. Rub your hands together, get yourself ready. We'll go zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, 
two, one, blast off! Did you make it to the moon? I did. Yeah, good job. All right, my friends. With that, I think we are limbered up and ready. Should we take a nice deep breath? Oh, when I take a nice deep breath, it means that I am almost ready for my story. I'll take one more, one more. Can you do that with me? Good job. Well, my friends, so we have talked all sorts of ways about different counting that you can do. If you do some of the activities that I, sh I share with you, please share them with us. Use the hashtag LPL at home and keep checking our Facebook page and the library's website, www.lexpublib.org for more programming this summer. We hope that you are staying safe and that you're staying healthy feel free, I, like I said, to share with us all the things that you're doing. So, one of the things that I'm going to share with you, and this is a really, really simple thing, and it, all it requires is your brain. Yeah, I want you to go count things. I want you to count how many steps from your home to the end of the block. Hmm. I want you to count how many people are in your family. I want you to count out your age. Are you this many, one year old? Or are you this many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Are you ten? Oh, who knows? There's so many different things to count, and it can be a really fun thing to do. There's, you can also make counting into a bit of a scavenger hunt. And I'm going to show you what I did today. This is a great way to practice something called one-to-one -one correspondence, which sounds really complicated and honestly is kind of complex. Um, it sounds so simple for grown-ups because they already know how to do it. But when you're little, you don't have the skills yet because the concepts are just huge. One-to-one -one correspondence is when we recognize that the numeral that we write has a meaning as the number of things the item is. I know it sounds really simple, but it's it's not. But this is a really great way to be able to do that. What you do is I wrote out, I just wrote three. I'm using my bathtub backdrop. I have one, two, three different things on my page. And for the number one, I put one flower. For the number Two, I put how many rocks? One, two, two rocks. And for number three, I have one, two, three mint leaves. Hmm, I wonder which one of these smells the best. Do you think it's the rocks? Probably not. Do you think? I only have two rocks in my house? Also probably not. I have no idea how many are indoors. So try this at home. I hope that you enjoy your activity and we continue tuning in. We will have story times Tuesdays and Saturdays at 11 a.m. and lots of other programming throughout the summer. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Good morning, my friends. Hello and welcome to story time. My name is Miss Amanda, and I'm a children's librarian at the Lexington Public Library. You might notice a tree and a wreath behind me, and that's because the theme of today's story time is winter in July. That's so funny. For one day, we're going to pretend that it's cold and snowy and wintry, even though it's nice and warm and in the middle of summertime. I think we're going to have lots of fun together. And we're going to start with our welcome song. And you can find the words to this song and all of the others we'll do today on a previous Facebook post from earlier this morning. So show me how you wave because we're so happy to be here together and having story time. Wave. Okay, and we can sing together. Come along and wave with me. Wave with me. Wave with me. Come along and wave with me. It's time for story time. Very good. Can you show me how you clap? 
show me how you clap. Fantastic. Come along and clap with me. Clap with me. Clap with me. Come along and clap with me. It's time for story time. Very good. Let's do one more. Show me how you roll your arms. Can you do that? All right. Come along and roll with me. Roll with me. Roll with me. Come along and roll with me. It's time for story time. Bravo, my friends. Give yourselves a round of applause. Oh, fantastic. Well, you know what? I think the first thing we need to pretend that it's winter in July is some snow. Can you show me some snowflakes on your fingertips? Show me your snowflakes. And where does snow come from? It comes from the sky and it falls down just like that. Can you show me? Snow falling, very good. Well, for this next rhyme, I'm going to use some fun scarves. Blue and purple kind of make me think of winter because they are a little cold, right? So I want you to show me your falling snowflakes and I'm gonna use my scarves and together we can say, Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. Can you catch them on your nose? <laughs> Can you touch your nose for me? Very good. Will they fall and touch your toes? Can you touch your toes for me? <laughs> Snowflakes, snowflakes falling down, falling, falling to the ground. Fantastic. What a good ride, my friends. Now I want you all to think and tell me what your favorite activities to do in the winter are. When it's snowy outside and cold, what are your favorite things to do? Do you like to go sledding? Yeah? What about have a snowball fight or make some snow angels? What about make a snowman? Can you raise your hand if you like to make a snowman? Oh my gosh, I love making a snowman. And our next rhyme starts with five little snowmen. Can you show me five little snowmen? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, and five. Five little snowmen. All right, five little snowmen on a winter's day. The first one said, wake up so we can play. The second one said, let's stomp on the ground. The third one said, let's roll all around. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm afraid I feel the sun. Oh dear, cried the snowmen as they looked toward the sky. And the five melting snowmen waved goodbye. Oh, you guys are such good counters. Now I'd like to share one of my favorite winter songs with you. And I'm going to use Jingle what song do you think we're gonna sing? That's right, we're singing Jingle Bells. Can you sing with me? Let's sing together. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Bravo! Very good! Well, my friends, our time is almost over today. But before we go, I want to share with you an activity you can try at home with your families. In this bowl, I have eight parts flour and one part baby oil. The baby oil makes it smell so good, but it also makes it moldable. And we're gonna call this dream snow, just like in our story. And that means 
you can mold it into little balls and you can make your own snowman. Even though it's summer, we can still have our dream snow. And like I said, this is eight parts flour and one part baby oil. And if you try this activity at home with your families, please share it with us on social media using the hashtag LPL at home. Now, after you've played with your dream snow, your hands are gonna be a little bit messy. So we need to wash them off. So we're gonna turn on our imaginary water faucet, pump out some soap in our hands, lather them up. Can you lather your hands with me? Let's sing together. We can sing tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them both together, rub them both together. Now they're clean, now they're clean. Bravo! Let's wash them off. Turn off our water. Dry them off with an imaginary towel. And now we're ready to wave goodbye with our clean hands. Can you show me how you wave goodbye? Thank you so much for joining me today. I've had such a wonderful time with you all. Can you wave up high and wave down low? Wave fast and wave slow. Wave to the sky and wave to the ground. Wave right side up and upside down. We're bold and wave shy. Story time is over, so we wave goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.